jumps, overlapping action. So overlapping action is one of the principles of animation. And what's meant by overlapping action is any secondary motion that occurs in addition to the primary motion. So, for example, if a character is jumping, then the primary motion would be the jump itself, and then the motion of the arms and maybe the head would be um, what I'd call active secondary motion, uh, which is um, uh, animated by the character. Uh, while there are also passive secondary motions, such as the drag of the clothing, the hair, so forth. Now, the timing of the overlapping actions may or may not have a timing that matches the primary motion. Passive overlapping actions, like uh, follow through and drag, um, they're often synchronized with the primary motion. Uh, and also, sometimes, uh, active overlapping actions are also synchronized, especially if they are in support of the primary motion. A good example of that is swinging the arms in a jump. So, the height of a jump is significantly higher if you swing your arms as you're taking off. And uh, the swinging of the arms has uh, two related effects. As you're swinging the arms upward, you actually exert more force on the ground, and so you have a larger reaction force pushing you up. And then also once you uh, take off, uh, because your arms are raised, your center of gravity is already higher up off the ground. Now, the correct way to swing the arms when jumping is to swing them while the feet are still in contact with the ground. Uh, let's just look at a quick video of that. So this is the uh, correct way of swinging the arms in a jump. Now, the incorrect way to animate the arm swing in a jump would be to uh, swing the arms late, basically uh, to be swinging the arms uh, as the character has already left uh, the ground. Let's see what happens if you try to jump uh, in this fashion. This is very uh, unnatural and uh, highly uncomfortable, so I strongly recommend that you try it yourself so that you can you can feel what it's like. Now, what happens is if you throw your arms upward after you've left the ground, uh, that shift of the center of gravity as it's located in your body, um, the center of gravity shifts to a higher position in your body, but the center of gravity is the same distance from the ground, so uh, basically that means that you uh, throw your body downward, so your um, torso uh, your body uh, will shift downward uh, by the action of, of swinging the arms upward. So again, in animation, the correct uh, timing of the arm swing in support of the jump is uh, as the feet are on the ground. Uh, now, once uh, uh, someone who's jumping, a character who's jumping, uh, is in the air, uh, they often uh, will move their arms and legs, and uh, here's a uh, video of a long jumper, and you'll see um, once they're in the air, they have some um, arm motion. Here we see, and much of that arm motion is to control the rotation of the a body while it's in the air in order to um, land with the correct uh, orientation. We'll see more about this uh, when we talk about uh, somersaults and uh, twists and uh, other such motion. Now, there's also a passive overlapping action, so uh, any kind of motion of the hair, the clothing, yeah, with this horse, the, the mane of the horse, the tail, the clothing of the rider, and so forth. So these uh, passive overlapping 
actions in a uh, jump um, are uh, affected by the weight gain and loss in the motion. So just to review how this works, if you have an object and it's um, either accelerating up or accelerating down, uh, there's going to be a variation in the weight. So whenever the acceleration is uh, with gravity, so if you are, say, um, falling and gaining speed, or if you're rising and losing speed, so this is a deceleration, if you will, uh, then uh, th those two types of motion are with gravity, and so the weight, uh, the effective weight actually goes down. On the other hand, if the motion is against gravity, so if it's rising and speeding up, or falling and slowing down, then um, there's an effective gain in the weight. And this is seen in the um, uh, overlapping action, the passive overlapping actions. Uh, let's look at the uh, weight gain and loss in a jump. In this case, uh, I'm going to jump and I'm going to measure uh, the weight gain and loss using this uh, force plate. So, just going to start the recording, stand on the force plate. Now, I'm wearing a skirt, hula skirt, a wig, all of these to give you more items to look at their overlapping uh, actions. So, uh, the first part, uh, as I'm dropping into the crouch, it's actually uh, accelerating downward, so I'm going with gravity, but then I have to slow down to come to a stop, so then I'm going against gravity, I'll be gaining weight, and then certainly when I'm pushing up and gaining speed, I'm going against gravity, so I'll gain weight. And you can see this in the uh, uh, follow-through and drag of the uh, all these items that uh, things get lighter and, um, say, fluffier as I lose weight, but then when I gain weight, everything's pulled down as if it was uh, heavier. You can see this in the uh, headgear. Then, um, once I'm in the air, then I'm actually in a weightless uh, state, uh, flying through the air, so everything is very light and flouncy, and uh, you especially see this in the in the lay. And then on landing, I have this uh, uh, sudden deceleration, big gain in weight. Everything uh, drops down very quickly. Uh, so here's the data from the force plate. So uh, first, there's nothing. Then I step on the plate. Uh, this is my normal weight. Then I drop into the crouch, hit the uh, slow down towards the bottom, then um, this part I'm pushing up uh, on the plate so I have a higher than uh, normal weight, then uh, fly in the, into the air, uh, I'm actually in a weightless state, and then finally uh, land on the plate and the uh, weight shoots way up um, at that point. Now, you, may, you might argue that uh, this uh, zero when I'm in the air is because my feet are not in contact with the plate, uh, but even if the plate was glued to my shoes, as I'm in the air, uh, I'm in a weightless state, similar to the um, uh, Vomit Comet uh, video in the uh, an earlier tutorial. So in that case, uh, it really is uh, zero weight uh, as you're flying in the air. So, in uh, summary, uh, overlapping action is any secondary motion occurring along with the primary motion. Uh, active overlapping actions may be timed to be in support of the primary motion. Uh, they don't necessarily have to be. You can jump in the air and turn your head back and forth uh, looking around, and that has nothing to do with the, with the jump. But um, an example of an active overlapping action that is in support of the primary action would be swinging the arms when you jump, and as we saw, swinging the arms will increase the height of the jump if it's done while the feet are on the ground. Uh, passive overlapping actions 
occur in a jump, such as your hair flying or your clothes. Um, and uh, uh, much of that motion is affected by uh, weight gain and loss. And uh, the most noticeable effect is the weightlessness that occurs uh, when you're uh, in midair. So hopefully that helps you understand what's going on with a jump.